I'd like to uh, recognize our ranking member, Mr. Garrett, for five minutes, for four minutes, for his opening statement. Uh, thank you. I thank the chairman. I thank all the uh, witnesses who are about to testify, and I certainly look forward to um, delving into the issues raised by in the regis registration legislation by uh, Congressman Castle and Capuano. But before I do, I want to take a moment to address President Obama's recent comments about the hedge fund industry and as it relates to the Chrysler bankruptcy. Now, I was troubled by the President's recent statements that sing singled out a particular class of Chrysler's creditors. The President's comments displayed a complete disregard of, for the rule of law as well as practices which govern our bankruptcy code. Furthermore, the comments to me showed a fundamental misunderstanding of just who hedge fund managers represent as well as the fiduciary responsibilities these managers have to their investors. You know, millions of retired teachers and other public employees had their retirement savings invested in these funds. And it was due to investors like these that Chrysler was able to stay out of bankruptcy as long as it did. And it wasn't just the President's public comments that were concerning. There were also reports that members of this administration bullied and threatened investors to accept the administration's terms or else. As we examine the potentially increasing regulation on hedge funds purportedly to protect investors in the broader economy, perhaps we should also be looking at ways to protect hedge funds, the retirees, and the teachers that invest in them, and other parts of the economy as well, from the overzealous, strong-arming, and inappropriate meddling on the part of some in the federal government. But let's get back to the topic of our hearing today, hedge fund <laughs> registration. We will no doubt hear from members of this committee and maybe the panel that registration is a good thing. I hope that others here today, however, will indulge me as I raise some concerns that I have with this approach. First, let's step back for a moment and remember that it was hedge funds were not the cause of our financial sector difficulties. And in fact, they are now being called upon by the government to help pull out the banking sector, which as we know is one of the most heavily regulated sectors, out of our current hole. Secondly, the due diligence performed by sophisticated institutions that invest in hedge funds is significantly more rigorous than anything that will be subject to under a registration regime. So I'm wary that the perceived government imprimatur provided by mandatory registration may now undermine or de-emphasize that due diligence over time. And perhaps more importantly, without mandatory registration, there is no current expectation by the financial markets that taxpayers would ever be required to bail out a hedge fund. But once you introduce government oversight, expectations change. An additional concern with this approach is that it approaches reform in a piecemeal fashion rather than as part of a comprehensive plan to address reform of the entire financial sector. All the pieces of reform should fit together and should be pursued as part of one complete package. And finally, while registration may not seem overly onerous to an industry where many of the participants already voluntarily register, I'm concerned that mandatory registration is a um, proverbial camel's nose under the tent. In fact, earlier this week, SEC Chairman Shapiro announced her intention to go further. She said, it's probably not enough just to register head funds. It may well be necessary to put in place particular kinds of rules. She went on to say, it's certainly possible that the SEC should consider forcing hedge funds to publicly to slow short sales positions, impose restrictions on leverage, and restrict what hedge funds could invest in. Is that where we're leading to? So finally, again, big banks are among the most heavily regulated firms in our economy, yet are the root cause of many of our problems. But at least with banks, there's a rationale that regulation is there to protect the individual's insured deposits. With hedge funds, investment managers are sophisticated, and there's no insured deposits to protect. So let's be very careful about regulations and registrations that could ultimately lead to fundamentally changing the nature of a very important investment option that's available now for millions of Americans. And with that, I yield back, and I just ask for unanimous consent to enter into the record a uh, IBT editorial, internet, uh, investment business daily editorial from earlier this week with regard to um, headline, Don't Demonize Chrysler's Debt Holders for Standing Up for Their Shareholders. Thank you, Mr.